Hi, my name is Ravinda King, and I'm a general surgery resident at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. I'm the lead author of the recently published paper, Eliminating Opioids from Breast Conserving Surgery, a Perioperative Pain Management Pathway. Prior studies have established that patients undergoing breast conserving surgery are often prescribed pills in excess of their need to address the mismatch between patients' postoperative opioid requirements and prescribing patterns of surgeons, a number of organizations, including the Michigan Open Prescribing Network, the Mayo Clinic, and an expert panel from Johns Hopkins have created opioid prescribing guidelines for partial mastectomy and partial mastectomy with central lymphoid biopsy. These organizations recommend prescribing anywhere from zero to 15 oxycodone pills following breast conserving surgery. We worried that by recommending that a specific number of pills be prescribed, we have unintentionally endorsed the concept that opioids are a mainstay of postoperative pain management. In other words, we have anchored surgeons to prescribe narcotics. The psychological principle of anchoring and adjusting comes into play here, whereby surgeons use the recommended number of pills as their baseline and adjust the number of pills to prescribe based on specific patient and clinical characteristics. We sought to anger surgeons at zero opioid pills for breast conserving surgery. To do this, we implemented a six-part perioperative pathway, which consisted of preoperative acetaminophen, pre-incisional bupivacaine, post-excisional bupivacaine wound deposition, intraoperative catorolac, postoperative acetaminophen and ibuprofen, as well as counseling both in the preoperative and PACU to set expectations about postoperative pain. Our final cohort consisted of 114 patients that underwent partial mastectomy and 112 patients that underwent partial mastectomy with central lymph node biopsy. Ultimately, 100% of the 114 patients that underwent partial mastectomy and 97% of the 112 patients that underwent partial mastectomy with central node excisions did not require opioids to manage postoperative pain after discharge. Our paper demonstrates that a multimodal non-opioid pain pathway can be successfully implemented, and 99% of patients undergoing breast conserving surgery do not require opioids after discharge. Thus, we should shift our anchor to zero pills following breast conserving surgery.